गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज माई फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन चॉपर दैट इज डी सी टू डी सी कन्वर्टर सो दिस विल बी द टॉपिक्स दैट विल बी कवर्ड इन दिज लेक्चर्स सो द नंबर वन इज फीचर्स एलिमेंटरी प्रिंसिपल्स क्लासिफिकेशन प्रिंसिपल ऑफ चॉपर एक्शन बग चॉपर और बग कन्वर्टर बूस्ट चॉपर बूस्ट कन्वर्टर बग बूस्ट चॉपर and different quadrants of chopper operation so these are the contents or topics we will be covering in the upcoming lectures so chopper is a static device that converts a fixed dc input voltage to a variable dc output voltage directly so a fixed dc input voltage and a variable dc output voltage so two words fixed and variable these are very important here so it can be assumed or it can be thought of a dc equivalent of an ac transformer that behaves like an identical manner there is nothing called dc transformer you must remember that but it is a dc equivalent of an ac transformer like a transformer steps up or step down voltages here also the dc voltage and the dc output voltage they are varied a fixed dc input voltage is converted into a variable dc output voltage now this output voltage can be greater than the input voltage it is called a step up converter or step up chopper and when the converted output voltage is less than the dc input voltage is that step down chopper so more efficient than ac transformer as the evolve in one stage conversion so it is said to be more efficient than ac transformer in case of a single stage conversion they offer smooth control high efficiency fast response and regeneration regeneration means when the power is delivered back to the source from the load side a chopper can act as a step up or step down dc device chopper can be operated either in continuous or continuous current conduction mode so it can be either continuous or it can be a discontinuous current conduction mode so choppers can be built with or without electrical isolation what are the applications of the chopper they are in trolley cars marine hoists forklift trucks and mine haulers these are the application of chopper so what is the elementary principle of a chopper it is a high speed semiconductor switch it connects the source to load and disconnects the load from the source at high speed so it is can be assumed it can be assumed something like this so it is a very fast acting switch this is the source and this is the load so whenever it is closed power will flow from the source to the load and when it is open the power will flow back from the load to the or the power will not be there there will no flow of power during that time so continuous triggering on and triggering off at a rapid switching speed so it has high switching frequency by varying the on off time of the ac or the average voltage across the load can be varied so what are the classification of choppers depending upon the direction of the output current and polarity of the voltage choppers can be classified into five classes number 1 is class a or one cut quadrant operation class b one quadrant operation class c two quadrant operation class d two quadrant operation class e four quadrant operation so this is the based on the quadrant of operation and based on the output that means output it can be 
classified as a step up or boost chopper it can be a step down or buck chopper or it can be a buck boost chopper so further classification of chopper depending on the power loss occurred on during the turn on and off of the switching device the chopper can be classified into two categories one is the hard switched converter here the power loss is high during the switch on to off and off to on as a result of the non-zero voltage and current on the power switches so this is called hard switched converter so the power loss is high during switching on to off and on to off on off to on as a result non-zero voltage and current on the power is there in the power switches and the other is soft switch or resonance converters in this type of choppers the power loss is low at the type of switching as a result of zero voltage and or zero current on the switches so here it is non-zero voltage and current and here it is zero voltage or current so based on this the classification has been done so these are the converter technologies that has been discussed linear regulators switching regulators charge pumps so these are the comparison that has been done regarding the efficiency emi noise output current boost that means step up buck that means step down and the solution size so the three parameters or aspects have been covered linear regulator switching regulator and charge pump <coughs> i'm sorry now the efficiency of a linear regulator is low the switching regulator it is high and the charge pump is medium likewise all the features have been compared with respect to one another now the chopper methods of control the dc output voltage can be verified or varied by the following methods constant frequency control that means pulse width modulation control and the variable frequency control now let us get back to these methods one by one number one is pulse width modulation in pwm or pulse width modulation the on time of the output waveform is varied keeping the chopping frequency f th that is the time period constant the output voltage is varied by varying the on time only the figure shows the output voltage waveform for different on times so let us see the picture that is what is meant by pwm control so this is the pwm control so you can see one thing that here during variation the on time that has been kept as a constant that means 1 by f that is equal to 1 by t that is also constant that let us say it is k1 so it is a constant frequency operation but the on time period has been varied so you can see the on time if the width is w1 it has been changed to w2 during variation where w2 is greater than w1 but the on time you see it has been kept constant or fixed now the other is the variable frequency control so in this case the chopping frequency or the time period is varied but either the on time or the off time is constant this is called frequency modulation so this is the pulse width modulation this is the frequency modulation so in frequency modulation to obtain full output voltage range of frequency has to be varied over a wide range but this method since the frequency we are varying it will produce harmonics in the output for large t of load current may be discurrent that means if the off time is very large the load current may be discontinuous 
so for continuous conduction t of should not be large we have to keep this in mind so let us study the variable frequency control over here so here you can see the time period it is changed so if the time period is t1 here it is reduced to t2 over here you can see the time period interval is different but you can see here the on time with this same if it is w over here here also it is maintained as w so when the time period changes that means it is equal to 1 by f1 or t2 is equal to 1 by f2 so here f2 is greater than f1 so the frequency is increased over here so now let us come to the principle of chopper operation chopper operation so what is a chopper chopper is a switch which is connected in series with a dc voltage source and the load the switch can be a power transistor an scr or a gto there is a gate turn of thyristor so it can be a power transistor an scr or a gto an ideal switch will offer zero resistance during on infinite resistance during off and instantaneous switching that is no lag so these are the characteristics of an ideal switch the switch can be turned on and turned off with the help of triggering circuit and commutation circuit respectively so the switch has to be triggered to make it on and the switch has to be commutated or turned off during if you want to make it off it can be turned on and turned off as desired at very high frequency during the T on period the chopper is in on condition and the load voltage is equal to the source voltage that is Vs during the T off period the chopper is in off condition and the load current flows through the freewheeling diode FD so these are the things you should remember so what are the principles of chopper operation let us continue with that as a result the load terminals are short circuited by the freewheeling diode thus the load voltage is zero during the T off period so in this manner a chopped DC voltage is produced across the load terminals so that means when the switch is connected from the supply DC supply the DC voltage reaches to the load and when the chopper is off that means disconnected from the load no output voltage is there so from the equation t that means the time interval should be equal to the on time of the off time it is clear that the load voltage depends on two factors that means the supply voltage and the duty cycle of the chopper now this is something new so what is duty cycle duty cycle is basically denoted by alpha so alpha is equal to t on by t so it is the ratio of the on time to the total time period so duty cycle that means alpha will lie between 0 and 1 why because t on can start from 0 so when t on is equal to 0 alpha will be equal to 0 and when t on will be equal to t alpha will be equal to 1 so duty cycle will vary from 0 to 1 and it has no unit since the supply voltage is constant the load voltage is governed by the duty cycle of the chopper so here I am keeping the supply voltage constant and varying the duty cycle of the chopper so in other words I can also say the load voltage is dependent on two factors that means on time and the off time and we can see clearly that alpha is equal to t on by t 
which I can again write it as t on by t on plus t of so alpha is a function of t on comma t of so this is what it is meant over here So let us study a chopper. So this is the circuit diagram of a chopper and the different stages are shown over here. So let us study the circuit. So let this be the supply which is given by Vs. In series to that we are having the switch which can be a thyristor or a GTO or any other power electronic device and in series to that we have an inductor and which is a part of the load and in anti parallel to that we are having a free wheeling diode so when the switch is on so what will happen from the positive terminal of the battery current will flow through the inductor through the load and back and during the progress of the current this is the point of entry of the current through the inductor let the load current be I so the polarity of the left hand terminal of the inductor will be positive and the right hand terminal will be negative so this will be the polarity now what I am doing I am making the switch off so what will happen the inductor will try to maintain the same direction of the current so now the source has been disconnected so the inductor will act as a source and it will also try to maintain the same direction of the current so what was the direction of the current this direction so that means the polarity of the inductor L will reverse because in order to act as a source and maintain the same direction of the current current has to origin from the positive terminal so it will be like this and it will keep on circulating through the load and the freewheeling diode so this is the operation of chopper so now let us go back to the previous slide so hence it is concluded that the average load voltage can be controlled by varying the on time and the off time in the two following ways so one is T is constant that means the pulse width modulation and the other is the Tn T on and T of variable that means frequency modulation sorry T on and T of uh, T on constant and varying the T of keeping the T of constant and varying the T on so these are the other two possible so it is a variable frequency system so obviously you can see that in this particular diagram until and unless I am connecting the switch the output voltage the power from the output voltage will reach to the load so the power from the output voltage will reach to the load when the switch is on but when the switch is off power cannot reach to the load so that means it is dependent on alpha that means how long I am keeping the switch on so from this concept we can derive like this so V0 so V0 is equal to T on by T into Vs that means alpha into Vs that means this is the average output voltage of the chopper so if we perform an integration like this so V0 is equal to 1 by T integration what is the time period of conduction that is 0 to T on Vs dt so from here if we integrate 
so Vs is constant so Vs by T T on minus 0 because integrating dt will give this value so that is equal to t on by t into vs that means alpha into vs similarly we can also calculate the rms value so how can we calculate the rms value so v rms is equal to 1 by t integration 0 to t on vs square dt whole root over this is another possibility so if we again integrate we can bring out vs by t like this vs square by t like this and what is the integration of dt that is t on and whole root over will be there so vs root over t on by t so what is t on by t alpha so vs root alpha so this is the rms voltage so alpha is often represented by d over here so we can tally these two equations and also these two equations so I think it is clear now and one thing you remember this is the equations for a step down chopper why because alpha will vary between 0 and 1 so alpha will be less than 1 so if alpha is less than 1 so what will happen to V0 that means V0 should be less than Vs isn't it because alpha is less than 1 how we can get that so if is if V0 is equal to alpha Vs that means V0 by Vs equal to alpha and what is alpha it is less than 1 so taking Vs to this side we will get v0 less than vs that means again it is proved that it is a step down chopper so this is the principle of operation which i have just explained so the output voltage is less than input voltage the thyristor in the circuit acts as a switch when the thyristor is on the supply voltage appears across the load when the thyristor is off the voltage across the load will be zero so practical arrangement includes an inductor l a diode which is used to eliminate the current pulsations providing a smooth dc circuit with the s closed the d is off and remains off as long as s is on we have already studied these things the input current builds up exponentially and flows through l and the load so the output voltage equals to the input voltage when the switch is on so when the switch is off that means open the current through the L that means the energy stored in L that decays to zero this causes an inductive voltage with opposite polarity across L so this circuit we have just studied that is the buck chopper now let us study the waveform so you see that this is vs that means when the switch is on you are getting output voltage which is equal to vs across the load and when the switch is and <coughs> during that time the current is rising but what when the switch is off that means during this time the current will decay so the current will vary like this so these are the different parameters that has been given over here so that is the input voltage this is the diode current 
this is the source current or the supply current that is I S this is the total I0 that means I0 is equal to I D plus I I and it is this is the VL average so that means this current we have just studied in the previous graph so what about the source current so this part will be the source current that means during the on time we are getting the source current but when it is off we will not get any source current so this is the current due to the inductor that means the energy stored in the inductor and that current flows through where through the free wheeling diode so if you sum total these two things you will get this particular waveform so and what will be the power so the power input should be equal to the power output by law of conservation of energy so vi into is that means the source current is equal to v0 into il this is the law of conservation of energy so if you go to the previous slide you can see that the current is continuous that means the current is not falling to zero so it is a continuous conduction cc but here what we are doing we are keeping the off time large so that the current during discharging it gets the opportunity to decay to zero and again from here from zero it will again rise in the next cycle when s is on and again it will become zero so this is just discontinuous conduction and it was if t of was increased further that means if this period is increased more then we will get something like this so that means large discontinuity we will be getting so based on the quadrant of operation these are the different classification of chopper so type A chopper that means the first quadrant operation type B chopper that is the second quadrant operation type C chopper that is the two quadrant type A chopper it is also called that means it is a two quadrant operation type D chopper this is also a two quadrant type B chopper and this is type E chopper that is the fourth quadrant chopper so in the next lecture we will be dealing with these five classes of chopper. So, thank you.